Good evening, every, or good afternoon, everybody. Good morning. Uh, I want to welcome all of you to the Santa Fe Plaza and to say thank you for joining us on this incredibly beautiful day as we celebrate for the second year in a row Indigenous Peoples Day in Santa Fe. Today is about so much more than just another city holiday. It's more than a nod to the contributions of Native Americans, although those contributions have been and remain incredibly important to who we are and to this place we call and love to be. This is an opportunity through conversation and celebration for all of us to learn more about each other, an opportunity for all of us to listen to Native American voices as they communicate who they are, an opportunity to consider and to deliberate and to deliberately create the space to consider what this place has meant to them and what they have contributed that has made Santa Fe what it is today. And I can tell you from where I sit in the mayor's office at City Hall, what they have contributed is at the core of our culture, of our history, our people, going back a thousand years and only growing more meaningful as time goes on. That's why days like today are so powerful. That's why I push for the creation of the Indigenous Peoples Day to begin with. Because I recognize I recognize that without the contributions of the Pueblos and the tribes on whose land our homes are built and on whose traditions have defined a major part of our society, Santa Fe would not be that special place. The Santa Fe experience is built on a foundational history and culture of the Native Americans who have been here for thousands of years. It's about art, definitely, but it's also more than art. Food, music, even the very built environment we are surrounded by pays tribute to the people who pass those traditions down, growing them stronger with every generation. It is both our duty and our interest to constantly look for ways to honor those contributions and protect those traditions. No one, least of all me, thinks that one day of celebration is enough but it was an obvious place to start. Already in our second year marking this day, the celebration has grown so much bigger and our vision for what Indigenous Peoples Day could become, a multi-day event that rivals anything else in our world-renowned cultural calendar, looks more realistic than ever. That has meaning and power, <coughs> and certainly something that we should all believe in. But we also recognize and we remember as we celebrate today, that on this Indigenous Peoples Day, Native people in our community and outside of it still face massive struggle. The stubborn legacy of hundreds of years of oppression by one conquering culture after another. Poverty, health care, environmental justice, the fight to continue to keep alive the very traditions we're here to celebrate today, and the fight to tell the truth about our history and to celebrate the histories of the many different cultures that built Santa Fe in ways that lift each other up, not tear each other down or extend the pain of the past. As beautiful as our community is in so many ways, we are not immune to these struggles. That's a conversation that we can't shy away from, and we will not. Committing to a transparent and public process that starts with a complete review of the city's support for monuments and memorials and events that in one way or another celebrate the history of Santa Fe. And it's one that I believe we are strong enough, secure enough in our various cultural identities, and most importantly, <coughs> compassionate enough to engage in and come through together. Even if our better natures aren't on display at every moment, even if tempers flare, even when it forces us to take a hard look at some of the things about our ancestors we might not always like to acknowledge. The reward waiting for us at the end of the day is more than worth it. A community that comes closer to living up to its values and takes a step toward the main idea behind Santa Fe, that different people from different backgrounds can come together and create something truly worthy of a celebration. Thank you. Mayor Gonzalez.
Uh, next we have the Old Pueblo Council of Governors Chairman Paul Torres.